real, for real I don't think I got enough like real, for real I just feel I'm starting to buy real, for real Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I am back for the part two of what I love about your sign, your zodiac sign. As you know, I did a part one. What I hate about your sign, why your sign sucks, etc., etc. If you haven't seen that, go watch that first as the prelude to this. So I feel like there's a lot of positives about the signs made and not a lot of negatives. So I decided to do that one first with this being the lead up. That video got, I feel like, better views than negative ones. Uh, there definitely, as you can tell by the likes, were some people who disagreed with that and in the comments are like, you don't even know what a Scorpio is. And I'm like, honey, I do, because I am one. Why do you think I started off with the negative first? Whatever. This is what I love about your sign. Starting off with the first sign, Aries. They are such vibrant personalities. They have such a go-getter attitude. They're not gonna sit at home on a gorgeous day and stare outside wishing that they had something to do. They're gonna go do it. They love to try new things and try and take them and run with them full force. And it's really amazing to watch someone be so intently focused on something that they just started and really not give up until they have gotten very, very good at what they're doing. One of the weirdest signs in the best way, they can constantly make you laugh and are just such unique personalities. They're not someone who really blends in that well. They just, they're just a very standout kind of person. A lot of my best friends are Aries. They're like a dog with a bone in the best way. They're not gonna put down a project until they feel that it is completed. They're not quitters and they're very hardworking. Second is Taurus. They are the mom and dad of the group. They take care of everyone around them. They they make sure that everyone is okay before they check in on themselves. They have really good sense of financial stability, home and family. They're very grounding. If you have an issue, talk to someone who is a Taurus and they will help level you down a few notches and just really help create an, create a really comfortable sense of serenity for you. They always do things for other people and are one of the most family oriented of the zodiac sign. They really, really care about making sure that those close to them are taken care of and are happy. They are the friend that you can always go to when you have an issue and they're always there for you no matter what. They are just such a respectful sign. They only tell you what you need to hear out of love for you and compassion because they want you to be able to do the best that you can with your life. And they don't want to see other people walking all over you so they are very very grounding and emotionally there for you sign my other best friend is actually a Taurus third up is Gemini Gemini's are so so intelligent and I have had some of the best conversations of my life with the Gemini they are smart they are witty they have really good conversation skills and funny banter they have really good jokes if you need to spice up your life and have like a little bit of oh tea spill moment, Gemini is the person to go to. They get along with, I feel like, everybody. I don't know many Geminis who have people that they have actual fights with, and if they say something, it's usually by accident, and they aren't intentionally sneaky. If it happens, it's an accident. They are very funny, and they are very loyal to who they are loyal to. Geminis are also very, very soft-spoken. They're not super harsh people. They're not going to lay into you, and they're not really going to tell you in a mean way how they're feeling about things, and will try and convey that to you in a very cautious manner so that they don't hurt your feelings. Cancer is so creative. They are very artistic. They're very inclined to making something that they can share with other people. They're very spontaneous. Uh, they use a lot of their intuition when they're trying to decide something and aren't going to do something if their heart isn't agreeing with their head in it. So you don't have to worry about doing something to intentionally hurt your feelings because really all they're trying to do is make sure that they don't step on anybody's toes or hurt anybody's feelings at any point. They're very, very faithful. Once you have a friend that's a cancer, even when things are rough, like that's your friend for life. They are very good at having heart-to-hearts with because 
because they can understand emotional sensitivities where some of the other signs cannot. And they can say, hey, like, I really understand why you're feeling that way instead of, that sucks move on. They're very protective. They are always there to nurture and help other people grow and are just very genuinely sweet people. Don't really react in any sort of way unless they're given a reason to. And this is a positive to some people. I consider it a positive is that they're emotional. I'd rather have someone that has too much emotions than not enough and I'm trying to dig it out of them. They really, really get what you're saying. So when someone that's a cancer says, I get it, they really do and they want you to know that they not only have sympathy, but they have compassion for you about it. Leos are very energetic. They have a lot to bring to the table when it comes to spontaneity and to adventure. They're like, let's go do this today. I want to do this today. They're very straightforward. Some people take that as being too blunt, but wouldn't you rather have honesty than dishonesty? They will tell you how they're feeling and they're not going to apologize for that. And honesty above everything else is what people value. So appreciate your Leo friends. They are kind and helpful and usually mean the best when they are trying to convey something to you or they get really excited about, hey, I just found out about this or hey, I just learned about this. I want to tell you about it. They will always be there to have a conversation with and it's not a boring one. There are very very few Leos I think in the world that could possibly be considered boring. Virgos are the best planners. If you want to find someone to schedule a trip for you or anything make sure that they are a Virgo because they are very good at planning, they are very very oriented, they are very time structured analytical people that can help you achieve what you need to achieve and get to where you need to be on time as well as making sure that someone's doing something for you or talking to you or whatnot for the right reasons. They are very practical. That is something a lot of people need more of. You can't live with your head in the clouds. You need to be able to see things as they are. That's a Virgo. They are very, very reliable and trustworthy. They are not going to lie to you. It does not benefit them. And if there's an issue, they're going to blow your phone up and try and work it out with you because they care. They want that issue to be resolved. They want you guys to gel. That is something that more people need to have aspects of. They are perfectionists. So it's it's such a good trait to have, to want to be very good at something, to want to do very well. While a little bit of the time it's a hindrance, for the most part, what's wrong with wanting to be the best at what you're doing or have something be perfectly presented to you? And then there's Libra. They are not going to force an opinion on you. They're not going to make you take sides when there's an argument or something going on. They do not want to make you feel uncomfortable. They're super charming. They can just get anybody to fall in love with them within the first five minutes of meeting them. And they're just so diplomatic, just so kind of regal, even when there's like a disagreement or something going on. They just know how to like level it out and kind of reel the attention back into something else. And they are a little bit of a heartbreaker, I have to say my my Libra friends they just know they just they just get them all I swear they're very equalizing like they want everyone to have the same fun the same experience they don't want anybody to be left out or not be feeling very equal that is why they're also the kind of the coin the 50 50 of the zodiac they want everything to be nice and level and and just smooth sailing scorpio is very very focused very driven courageous to the point of concern almost because they are so just straightforward they have so much crazy charisma and energy that they just want to share that with you they want you to have that same level of wow like this is amazing like you have to experience this too they are loyal to a fall super trustworthy they're the person that you can run to and tell your secrets to and they're not going to tell anybody else because then they lose your trust and that's what they value is your trust and your confidence they're very intuitive, so a lot of times you don't have to say anything and they'll just know. And it's nice to not have to constantly be explaining or or just it's nice to have someone be able to just be like, hey, I've noticed something's off. What's up? They look out for you and are very, very caring about friends, family, and the ones that they care the most about and will destroy literally anyone else that, that threatens who or what they love. Sagittarius, super, super adventurous. The crazy travelers, they have the best stories. They are such beautiful, free souls. They love all sorts of stuff that a lot of people don't really get into. And I find that a lot of Sagittarius's 
are like those hippie travelers that you know just are super down to earth so optimistic so positive see things from a very different perspective and are just very kind-hearted they're very philosophical they're pretty much straightforward they just they just want you to see the world they want to take you on that carpet ride like Aladdin give people new experiences which is really nice especially if you're looking for someone to take you on an adventure or cheer you up Capricorns are so practical they are very very well financially balanced they are gonna make sure that you are taken care of and that you are doing the right thing and following the steps that you need to in order to succeed they are like the money gurus they are very very on track. They don't fall into distractions easily and are not easily swayed, which is really nice. They're very patient of other people. They wait for everyone to achieve things in their own time and just really want them to be the best that they can be. They're cautious, so they're not going to make an impulse decision. They're not going to say, hey, like I have all this money. Let me just buy a house, bang it out, and then have all of this chaos around them. They're very, very stable, practical people. Aquarius is actually very very friendly there's a lot of oh my god like they're they're the worst they are very friendly and especially in groups a lot of people are drawn to Aquarius for their very bold style of thought but it's really really nice to see someone not be swayed by someone else's opinion and be who they are uniquely they're very unique and believe indefinitely in what they find their morals to be they're very independent emotionally financially they take care of themselves they're not someone that you're gonna have to baby for the rest of your whole life they learn from experiences and use that going forward and they are very very loyal to who they are loyal to and I know I've said that a lot of times but there's a lot of similarities between the signs when it comes to loyalty and the way that people show loyalty obviously through each sign is very different it's just there are some main signs that above all else will stick by you they're humanitarians they really want to make sure that the world is a better place and are very free spirited thinkers in not being held down by the expectations of what other people want them to think even if their opinion is like holy crap like that's crazy Maybe I shouldn't say this. They're going to say it because they are being true to themselves. Pisces is so imaginative and just that whole head out in space, head in the clouds, but they can dream it up. And if they find the motivation to do it, they can follow through on that. And, and it's just the level of creativity that a Pisces has is insane. They're the kind of people that make those Studio Ghibli movies. That's landscaping. That's how they think. They just can see things that other people cannot and draw you in with it. They're very sensitive. They can understand where you're coming from and are very mellow people. They're pretty selfless. They want to make sure that you are happy and thank you guys so much for watching what i love about your signs obviously they do have some similarities in being loyal and whatnot but everybody represents that in a different way and i am so thankful to have met at least one person in all the signs that i really really like and get along with and hope that i get to spend the rest of my life being friends with and whatnot so Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, watch my last video if you haven't, turn the notification bell on, and I'll catch you in the next video.